Hey guys, so you want to learn how to get free electricity to charge your laptop or a small fan for about a hundred dollars and some change? Maybe even less if you do some really good searching on Google. You can get this Gold Power Plus. It's a solar generator and get um, a portable solar panel. I got the E-Flex 50, but there's different brands out there. This is the one that I purchased. And I'm going to show you how to put these two together. And then you can um, have free electricity in this solar generator, and it's portable. You can put, it, put this in your car. You can even charge this on an AC adapter. You can charge this in your cigarette lighter. Um, yeah. So watch this video and find out how to do it. If you like this content, like, share, subscribe, and I'll make more. Hey guys, sunshine, finally. It has been so cold here the last couple of weeks. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is play with my new solar panel. And I have this. This is the Go Power Pro, Pro Plus. Go Power Plus. I am not saying that name very well. So let's take this out and let's prop this up. And let's take these cords and see if we can play with this and get this thing to charge. Take out the manual because I'm sure I probably need that. And it has this. You notice this is installed on here. So these are the cords to it. And these are the cords that came with it. And it has these. So that's pretty cool. And it has this cord. I'm going to put this back in here. We'll just pull this out. And these cords. I hope I don't get them mixed up, but if I do, that's okay. I've been looking for a spot in my house because I live in an unsecure neighborhood. They'll steal this in a heartbeat. <laughs> so, but I'm just playing with it for now and it's such a beautiful day out. I just have to play with it outside. And I'm glad this is cloth. That way, if I have to like, maybe insert something in these seams to hang it in my house, I might be able to. So that's gonna be another video, guys. This is just this video. And let me prop this up. I might have to push this table different. All right, let's just do that. I'm not gonna use those stands because my table's not big enough. So I have this out and it looks like it's gonna do pretty good just like that. I would never leave this outside. All right. So, I have this like that. Let's see what else we have. So I have that connector, and I have this battery one, and this AC one, so none of those are gonna work. Let's see if this one's just connects directly to it. That would be awesome. So this is what comes with the solar panel. Let's see how long it is. It's pretty long. I want to say a good maybe six feet. So that's pretty good. And then I'll show you how to connect this. Okay, so this is the one that came with the solar panel. These are the little connectors so that you can connect different inputs. This came with the solar panel. And this is the lead. I don't know if you can see that. So that's the lead that came with the solar panel that's attached. So let's take that apart too. I'm always trying to leave them that way, you know, the way they come. So you guys can see it. So that's the one that came with the solar panel. 
this came with the solar panel. So that's quite a bit. So that looks like it's about three feet. And then once you connect this in there, I wonder if you have to connect both of them. Yeah, you do. It says one's a negative, one's positive. Okay guys, so there's a positive sign here. So I have the positive lead on there and there's a negative sign there. So just make sure those are connected properly. And these are not easy to get off. So I had to really look for those marks. Okay, the moment of truth, let's see. Okay guys, the moment of truth. So this says 12 volt, volt output, 15 volt input, solar input. This says it's a 50. Let me see something real quick. E-Flex 50. As long as it accepts an 18 volt DC input. Or... Boy, I hope I bought the right one. You know, I Googled it and put power, go power plus in there. Let's see, weight is, it's um, the solar panel is five pounds. It's dimension it is 19.9 inches by 16 inches. Rated power 50 watt, yeah. 16, 18 volt. Yeah, I hope this is okay to do. Output is 9 volt, 19 volts. USB A port is 5 volts. Okay, so the solar panel can generate 18 volts. And it says a 15 volt input. Oh, I'm chancing it. Well, I'm going to try it. If it starts to heat up, we'll unplug it real quick. I wouldn't suggest, so it goes in there. Oh, wow, look. And it's saying 73 on there. And it's charging. I would not leave this unattended, but it is charging. Look, guys. So it's charging at 73. That's what it says. So let's let that sit there for a while. And it was a direct input. So that input that comes directly out of the solar panel works. I'm just concerned that it's two volts over. But let's let that sit. It's So it's almost, let me go check what time it is. I'm going to let this sit and kind of work in the yard a little bit. And then we'll check it periodically and see where it's at. But it's charging, guys. Look. Woohoo! Thanks, Lead Farmer. You're awesome. I know you don't know me, but thank you. Okay, guys, let's let this sit for a while. Well, that solar panel looks like it's catching some wind there. Let me put this. I'm going to find something to put on the right here, like a brick or something. Okay, so yay, guys, look at I'm so excited. That's so exciting to me. It's working. So, guys, it's 2.30, and I put a brick behind here. I don't know if you can see that. So, let's see. So, guys, it's 2.30, and let's see how long this takes to charge. Um, and we'll keep coming back and checking in on it periodically. I might even put a timer. That way I remember to check on it. So, okay guys, we'll see you soon. Hey guys, so this is still charging. It says 88 now, but it's still charging. It's been about over an hour. The alarm went off and I didn't hear it. So it's been charging for over an hour. So I don't know what that number is. So let's check back in a few in about an hour or so and see what happens. See, I put that brick there and that's held it really well. So awesome. This is so cool. 
Okay, guys, see you in a few. Hey, guys, so this has been charging for about three hours now, almost three hours. It's still charging. Let me take this out and see where it's at. Oh, we got two bars. So that's good. All right. I'm going to let it keep charging and catch the last of this little sunshine. See guys, it'll shut off automatically if nothing's plugged into it. That saves electricity. So that's why it shuts off when there's no more sunshine. Okay guys, so this has been sitting out here for about a little over three hours and I have no more sunshine. Let me see what this says. So we have two bars and it took about three hours. So this is gonna take about Oh, I don't know. It's probably going to take about eight hours to charge all the way. And that's a 54 degree Fahrenheit. That's what it is outside. So, but it's still working and we still have electricity. So, let's test this and see what happens. Okay, guys, so let's test this out. Notice it has a three prong adapter on here. And so, let's see if this fan works. I'm gonna turn the AC on. Now let's see if it'll work with this fan. This is just a small desk fan. So you can use this for this, this setup for um, small equipment. Let's see. Yeah, it's brand new, so. Okay, so we have it in there. It's saying 68. Notice it's not plugged into anything. Let me put this over here. So it's a standalone. This plug is going to the fan. So this is the plug to the fan. We're outside. Let's see if it works. Awesome. So you can plug stuff in here like, I don't know, your laptop in that three prong. Free electricity, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.